What's up everybody, Michigan Edge here. Uh, you can tell we're looking at a Benchmade Griptilian here I ordered in. I ordered this in about a week ago. Uh, just to do some quick uh, specs, this is a very popular knife, so uh, this is more or less just my impressions on it, but uh, this is the full size version. Let's go ahead and open it up. Got a modified uh, clip point blade there. Uh, weight, 3.25 ounces, 154 CM steel. Roughly about a three and a half inch blade. You got the famous axis lock here. The handle is uh, like a Zytel FRN style handle. Has partial steel liners going about halfway into the handle here. Okay, uh, let's look in the box real quick. For anybody that's never ordered a Benchmade, uh, I got a nice little felt bag, a little uh, maintenance and care card, warranty information. Uh, so there's the box. Okay guys, the first thing that came to mind when I opened this up and took this out, uh, this costs right around $100, so keep that in mind. This is about a $100 knife. Um, I took this out, I put this in hand, and the first thing I thought uh, was this feels kind of cheap. Not cheap in, in, in uh, fit and finish, or really uh, how it's made, just in the handle alone. This is a very light knife at 3.25 ounces. I'm used to carrying a, a, a heavier knife myself, you know, uh, you know, four to seven ounce range. And uh, just to show you here, you can kind of hear on the hollow portion there. Just has a cheap sound and, and kind of feel to it. It's got the grip here and it's very comfortable. We have our uh, jimping here on the, uh, on the spine. Let's try to get this to zoom in. There we go. Got the jimping here on the thumb ramp. Jimping on the uh, handle. Very good jimping. Reverse side here. Nice jimping. Uh, some jimping here on the on the plastic handle. You can kind of see there uh, are partial steel liners in there. It's got good uh, phosphorus bronze bushings on the inside. They're nice and wide. Very solid lockup. I mean, there's no vertical side-to-side -side play. So, uh, yeah, that was the first thing that came to mind. I wasn't really too impressed with how cheap the handle felt. Uh, you can get these in, in G10 if you want to spend another $60 or $70, you know, and get up towards the $200 range. But, uh, you know, I had one of these before years ago. It was in a sheep's foot blade. I got it on trade, and I didn't really give it a chance. I kind of just uh, resold it, you know. But I figured uh, this has so many good reviews on it, I would give it a chance. So I've been carrying this now for about a week. And uh, this is my first knife here in 154CM steel. I've had knives in S30V steel, uh, D2 steel. It's kind of a higher end premium steel. Uh, it's kind of a premium steel of yesterday, I guess you'd say. But uh, every knife I get, usually, I do a cutting test on it. I should start doing videos. Let me know what you guys think. But uh, just to show you real quick here, guys, here's a box I have. This is an Amazon box here. And I, uh, I probably spent about 20 or 30 minutes just cutting cardboards, uh, sticks, plastic, different material I'd probably cut. This probably simulated about, uh, I would say, two or three months of cutting that I would do. Uh, I reprofiled this, this blade when I got it. It reprofiled pretty quickly. It had a real quick factory uh, belt sharpening on it, which was pretty good. But, uh, you know, I always resharpen my blades when I get them from the factory. Uh, but very impressed, guys. 20 or 30 minutes of cutting, nonstop cutting, cutting wood. Uh, this is stuff I would generally probably cut over a three month period. And, uh, after about 20 or 30 minutes of cutting, the blade finally started to develop drag. Uh, it was still serviceable, the edge, but it didn't have that hair popping edge anymore. So I was very impressed right here. This is about 20 or 30 minutes of cutting. Okay, secondly, what I like to do with all my uh, knives then is I want to see how fast it takes me to get a, a nice razor sharp edge or hair popping edge back on it. Uh, lately, I've been using these DMT diamond stones. They're very good, very affordable. They're also uh, USA made. Uh, this is the uh, DMT Fine right here. It's a fine stone. Uh, I would say, you know, I use water. 
about maybe uh, 10 to 15 passes per side. And I checked the blade and it was popping here again. So it took me about two minutes or so to put the uh, edge back on. So very impressed guys. I don't, I don't want to spend an hour sharpening my knife. So as far as 154 CM steel goes, I am very, very impressed with it. It's uh, probably currently my favorite steel. Uh, I've been using this at work. I've been cutting all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and just cut an index card here. Uh, I haven't sharpened this in now in about three or four days. And you can see it's still nice, nice and sharp. Let's go ahead and push cut. Very sharp, all the way to the tip. So very good steel. So over the week period, my, my opinions on this kind of changed. I really love, let me raise this up here, try to get this in. I really love the smooth action here. It uh, kind of broke in nice, very addictive. I find myself sitting down watching a movie and just playing with this a lot. So, uh, you know, Benchmade, their access locks are just awesome. Absolutely love it. Uh, I've also had a few other bench or a couple other Benchmade knives over the years. A Benchmade 940 Osborne. Uh, I can't remember the other one. It was another Mel, Mel Pardew design, just like this right here. But uh, like I said, my impressions change on this. So I would definitely recommend it. And uh, now, even though this costs $100, something to keep in mind, guys, Benchmade makes all their stuff in house. Everything's made in the USA. I believe even all their hardware they use, everything's made in house. So that's kind of cool, you know, it creates more jobs over here. Uh, and also, from what I've seen with them, I've never had to use their warranty uh, service. Uh, I hear their warranty service is awesome. They take care of guys uh, pretty good. You know, if your knife ever breaks, if it's defective, you sh ship it in. And uh, I believe, you know, you only got to pay like $5 shipping and they, they fix your knife usually, uh, you know, for free, which is, which is very cool. So that's something to keep in mind with that, that price you're paying. Uh, to me, that's a pretty good deal. And the steel alone uh, kind of pays for itself. Not, not having to sharpen this knife every day. Uh, being able to go weeks, you know, without having it or, or touching the blade up is, to me, you know, it's pretty cool. It's awesome. You don't always have time to do that, you know. So uh, there you go. That's my Benchmade uh, 551 Griptilian. You can get these in different blade shapes, different handle materials. Uh, you can get these custom made at Benchmade with different steels. They have different steel options. Uh, you can get these in G10 scales, which would add a little more solid feel to it. But overall, I'm very impressed with this, guys. This is my uh, current EDC knife. And uh, the steel, like I said, just performs awesome. So it's, uh, it's here to stay. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by. I appreciate you watching my video. And... Uh, Stay tuned next Sunday. I'll be starting up the uh, Classic Knife Sunday series. I hope you all have a great week. Michigan Edge, out.